We have the power to create our life. Welcome back, guys. We are gonna talk about how to use the imagination to create the life you want. Really, how to use your imagination to feel better. When your thinking matches how you wanna feel, that's when you're in sync with life and that's when you can create the life that you want because you're not at a whim of just whatever your mind is thinking. Our imagination just takes us to like the worst possible scenario. So I want to share with you with some examples on how you can begin to train the brain and use your imagination to actually shift it into a more positive space and when you do that you become more magnetic and you begin to create the actual scenarios and life that you want you don't want to be sitting at home in a panic thinking the worst when the person is actually fine and this is actually a skill that i have practiced and perfected i do it all the time and it's a game changer i'm going to share with you a couple of smaller examples that i know you can relate to the first one being have you ever held the door open for somebody and they don't say thank you. You're literally holding it open, being kind, and they just walk on by. And maybe don't even like look at you, no eye contact, no nothing. That sucks, right? You've taken the time to be polite, to be kind, that human connection and nothing. So let's take scenario one, where they don't say thank you, they don't look at you, and you're just left there holding the door, and you feel like a total schmuck, right? You went out, and you did something kind for someone and it wasn't acknowledged. So it can be frustrating, it can be embarrassing. And then when you feel those feelings, right? This asshole didn't say thank you to me. That shifts your vibration, your energy into a patterning of irritation, maybe even anger. And then that's the space that you're radiating from. So you get back in your car, you go wherever you're going and you're vibrating at that space. And that can have an effect on your entire day and the things that happen to you after and even how you treat people. So let's say you have that negative feedback from that person not responding and then you call somebody or you're with somebody and then you kind of spew or pass on that irritability from that one situation. That's how these things can just continually affect us. So what I wanna teach you in that moment, so we'll go back, right? Dude does not say thank you, doesn't look at you. This is where the power of the imagination is. We are actually gonna begin using our imagination to create scenarios that we want, that favor us. So dude doesn't say thank you, and what you're going to do is use your imagination and imagine that he said thank you. He didn't really, but you can trick your brain into thinking that he did. So let's say he doesn't and you acknowledge that. He walked by, didn't say thank you. In your brain, in your imagination, and we use our imagination all the time, we imagine somebody being dead because they're home late and didn't answer the phone, that's you using your imagination against you. We are now going to be training the brain to use our imagination for us in a way that benefits us. So you're already doing this. We're just going to the other side of the pendulum instead of using your imagination to hurt yourself, to put yourself in a really crappy feeling position, we're gonna use it to benefit us. So he doesn't say thank you and you basically pretend like he did. It's that simple. Then you're radiating from a spot of feeling good, appreciated, this person acknowledged your gesture, you feel kind, you feel elevated, you feel happy, you feel joyful, and then you're radiating from that space into the people that you see and the situations that you're interacting with. That's the space that you're coming from. That's how powerful these situations have on the effects in our life and it's all here we have the power to create our life we do it's not the guy's fault that didn't say thank you maybe he was in his own world maybe he wasn't paying attention maybe something very stressful is happening and, and and his mind is somewhere else maybe he's very kind and he just missed that moment we have no idea but what we can do is take our own life into our control use the power of our imagination for us to benefit us, to give us a greater life, to create the actual life that we want, something so small. I really hope that example resonates because we've all had that happen to us and we have the power to change it. So the guy doesn't say thank you or the girl doesn't say thank you, that's fine. You have the power to imagine that it happened, 
Imagine that they gushed over your gesture. Whatever it is that you need to imagine to make yourself feel good so that you can continue moving out into the world from that space, that's what you're after. But I really want you to recognize how powerful these small interactions that we maybe didn't give much thought to, how they affect us and how they affect our day and how the power is really in your hands. My mission is to reconnect all women to their divine power within and that means taking back our control, not blaming other people, taking back our control which is within. That's learning how to train the mind and train the brain for our benefit. So let's use another example. Let's say that you're in a great outfit, you're really looking good, your hair, your makeup, your whatever, you're just feeling just radiating amazingness. You're so proud of what you've done, how you look, how you feel, all that, and you're really looking for acknowledgement and a compliment from someone around you. Maybe a friend, maybe a significant other, maybe a spouse. You're wanting that validation, like I got it going on, I, I just feel great, and I wanna hear, you look beautiful. Oh my God, you're stunning. Whatever it is, you're really wanting that external validation from someone, and it doesn't happen. They don't recognize you, or they don't speak it. They don't tell you what you're looking for. That can have crushing effects. I know you can relate to that example. We've all had it at various points in time. We're really wanting to feel like, wow, girl, <laughs> you look amazing and we don't hear it. This is we're using the power of your imagination and your mind and retraining the brain for your benefit comes into play. So let's say I come in and I really want my husband to, to compliment me on what I'm wearing, how I look, how I feel, and he doesn't. And in that moment, I see that, I acknowledge that it's not happening, I'm not getting what I want, I'm not hearing that compliment, I'm not seeing that look of love, I'm not getting whatever it is I had expected or I wanted. We pause, it didn't happen, feel the burn, cause it will, it'll sting a little. Then, right after, the second after, I give that compliment to myself. I tell myself, wow Amity, you clean up well girl. You look so sexy, you're stunning. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. Whatever it is, whatever the words I was looking for externally that I didn't get, I give to myself. And this is a lifetime practice that will heal your soul. Because we have come into a place where we're always looking for external validation from people, from our parents. I didn't get this. I didn't get enough hugs. I, I wasn't told I love you. He didn't do this for me, whatever. We're just always looking outside of ourselves. And if you continue to do that, you're just repeating a pattern. What the medicine is, is always giving that back to yourself. Always giving yourself what you need. So I didn't get the compliment from my husband, but I can give it to myself. And nothing feels better. That's what I wanted and that's what I gave myself. It is food for the soul. Medicine that heals me on a soul level. And then it doesn't even matter if I get the compliment or not because I'm so fulfilled, I'm so lined up, I'm so satisfied with my own love with my own appreciation. And then the really funny, ironic part is because I'm so lit up with my own validation, it's a hundred times more likely that he will compliment me because now I'm vibrating and radiating at enormous rates because our powers are low when we're looking for that outside validation. I'm looking for something else to fulfill me, to fill me up. When I've done it myself, I've immediately raised the bar. I'm totally, I'm flying way high. I'm gonna look amazing to him no matter what I'm wearing because I'm just connected. And then it's far more likely that I'm gonna get the compliment and I didn't even need it because I gave it to myself. So this is really about using your imagination to benefit yourself, to create the life that you want. You're already doing it. And if you start to watch your thoughts, they sway negative. That is for a good reason, but you are able to practice and train your mind and use your imagination in a way that benefits you, in a way that keeps the power here and allows you to create the life that you want. Because let's say I gave away my power to the guy that didn't say thank you, and my whole day is ruined. Because what I just did is I took all my resources, I took all my energy, and I said, here, you didn't say thank you, and I'm gonna let that ruin my day. I'm gonna get really pissed off, Here's all my energy units. That's some bullshit. 
I want those energy units. I have a life to live. I have things I wanna do and I need my energy units to do them. So this guy is not getting any. I don't know his situation, I don't know his story, and I don't care. I'm gonna say thank you to myself for the kind gesture that I did. I don't need his thank you. I said thank you to me. No energy units were given away, no power was exchanged. And often, if you're ready, pro tip here, send them blessings. So a guy doesn't say thank you, you say thank you, and then you bless him. May he have a beautiful, beautiful day. May his heart be filled with love. May his body radiate health. May he feel connected and know how divine and special he is. This and so much more, amen. What? I just took a situation that had the potential of totally messing up my day, because then I can complain about this guy, what a jerk he is, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we've been there. No, no. I just took a situation, and I made it of the highest good. I am floating on love, because I thanked myself, and I just blessed him with a dose of love. That is what we're talking about here, ladies. That is what is at stake. And if you can do that with any situation, these are just simple examples that have happened to all of us, but take something that's happening in your life or has happened before and change it. Give yourself what you need in real time. It does take practice. Just because we're so used to falling back on those old patterns, those old behaviors, but you can do this. And once you start doing it all the time, obviously it becomes more easier. And it doesn't even matter what other people do because you are so filled up and you are so practiced in giving yourself what you need. And then you just feel amazing. So it is my true desire that this helps you on your self-love journey. Subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment, any questions. I've got openings for my one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you wanna take this work deeper or more seriously, I can help you with that. Get more details at my website, amityrose.co, and I will see you next week. Thank you.